New story alert. My father's wife 18 plus. Episode 1. I couldn't tell how I felt as I walked past my dad's room. Couldn't fathom if it was anger, jealousy or horniness. Anger, because my father actually now brought a new wife into our home, or jealousy because I wish I was the one in his room now listening to him tell me story as he used to. And horniness, you and what can I say? I'm a teenager bound to the shackles of raging home ones. I was just walking back to my room after my usual midnight movie session when I overheard slight moans from my dad's room. Being inquisitive as I am I stopped and listened and the moans became even clearer. It was obvious dad was bleeping his new wife which sent blood gushing from my brain down to the d asterisk asterisk k dangling between my legs as it sprang up to life. I hissed a little bit loudly as walked back to my room with my hardness now clearly bulged on my short. I jerked off that night with the image of dad's new wife on my mind. Okay let me start from the very beginning. I am a boy of 21, very tall for my mates, have a complexion that is slightly lighter than chocolate and my name is Joniski but mostly called Sky. From a family of two kids and the other kid is my twin sister Jessie though I fondly call her Sky Beauty. Maybe it was because she was my sister or maybe it was actually true but I actually think her the prettiest girl I have seen. I and my sister are both in level 200 in the tertiary institution with her studying medicine and surgery in the University of Nigerian Sukkur, UNN, and me studying science lab tech in the IN Institute of Management and Technology, IMT, a polytechnic in Inugu where we live. Don't blame me, she is obviously and far more intelligent than me, and so, no big deal. She lived in Sukkur while I was subjected to going to school from home which was like a death sentence to me. Mum died when we were 10 from a sickness we really didn't understand its name as of that time. So we were left with Papa to bring us up. Papa was the chairman of our local government, so I would say we were wealthy and he gave us all we needed in life, anything money could get for us. It all started on that very day. The sun hung lazily across the sky as it gradually but reluctantly sunk to the west casting a reddish-orange beam over the environment. I was seated with Jessie who came back from school a fourth night ago, we were watching one useless movie like that in African Magic, I was more interested in my WhatsApp chat with my girlfriend, Joy. Sky, Daddy's back Jessie announced peering at the door to see Daddy come in. We could hear doors thumping shut and knew he would be in any moment from then. Daddy pushed the door open as a female figure walked in with him. I could see the surprise and contempt on Jessie's face as she watched the girl walk into our house as if it's her father's house. I took my gaze back to the bold woman walking into my house with so much boldness, she was quite tall maybe 5-9 feet, can easily guess or place her age between the bracket of 24 to 26, a beautiful face with black obviously artificial eyelashes standing out, a clourless lip gloss. Her boobs were full and round as I could make out as much cleavage as my eyes could perceive sticking out of her flowery top. The round bums and straight legs clasped in a black leggings. Well she was indeed very beautiful but certainly wouldn't be as beautiful as my sky beauty though. Now what the fuck is she doing with daddy in our house I queried myself stealing glances at Jessie. Good evening daddy we both chorused. Good evening Ejimam he intoned stressing the Ejimam which he mostly called us when we are together. Was sure he could sense the questions in our eyes as he took her by the hand and cleared his throat. Ejimam, this is Amanda, she is my new wife and your new stepmother Papa intoned with pride written all over his face and an ear-to-ear -ear grin on his face. What da fuck? Did he just say wife? My mind shouted within me as I looked at Jessie and can easily tell that was exactly what she also had in mind. I didn't know how to feel about it, I mean I know it has been almost 11 years mum died and according to me dad have tried living without a wife that long. But I wasn't expecting a girl that young, she could easily pass for his daughter. DN dad just proved politicians are all the same as people always tell me I cursed under my breath. Welcome Jesse and I said obviously colder than we meant it to be. Thank you John and Jesse asterisk okay great this man already told her our names, Mchi. Asterisk. I'm glad to be part of your family, I am Amanda. She addressed us smiling and mostly looking at me all the while. 
Our family and everything would turn out to change so much from that day on.